As the world debates the military response, 19 days since the worst terror attack in Israeli history, its leaders are trying to frame the stakes, today laying bare the brutality in graphic detail. Here's Raf Sanchez. It felt like there couldn't possibly be new horror left to see. No brutality that hadn't already been shared or live streamed. But tonight, with global attention turning to the spiraling death toll in Gaza, Israel's military trying to keep the focus on the massacre that sparked the war, inviting NBC News and other journalists to a screening of raw video from the October 7th Hamas terror attack. I have some sense of what's in this footage, and I've been trying to prepare myself, but I'm still anxious about what we're going to see. For 46 minutes, we sat in stunned silence, watching video filmed by Hamas and filmed by their victims. Much of it had never been seen before. And while Israel's military is not releasing the clips because they're so graphic, they allowed us to describe what we saw, including a terrorist throwing a grenade into a bomb shelter where an Israeli father is shielding his two young sons. The blast kills the father and wounds the little boys. One of them howls, why am I alive? And tells his brother, I think we're going to die. A Hamas gunman stands over them, drinking Coke from their fridge. It's not clear what happened to the boys. I'm sure that you can figure out that they are worse than ISIS, the way they behave. The military released this video from a Hamas dash cam exclusively to NBC News, saying it shows a terrorist using a heavy machine gun to mow down survivors fleeing from the Supernova Music Festival. Because I knew I just have to survive, I just have to run. Millet Ben Haim was among those running for their lives. When I was growing up, there is this movie uh, about the Holocaust. There is this uh, scene that they are uh, running uh, and there is people shooting at them and there is also like bombs on the ground. And I remember really thinking about this scene because it was so similar. She hid in a bush with friends for hours waiting for rescue. I don't know who I am and, and I feel like a ghost most of the time. Raf, it's a lot to take. Is there a sense this video could be seen eventually by a wider audience? Yeah, Lester, this video has only been shown to journalists so far, but many ordinary Israelis are saying it should be made public for the whole world to see. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.